Hey everybody, it's Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. It's, gosh, it's, it's been a while and it is springtime. Well, in fact, no, tomorrow is the first day of summer, June 2019. Gosh, how time flies, kids are out of school and, well, life has happened all over the place. And I try to look at the posts and emails that I get and respond to them. And I've noticed uh, we've got a lot of new users, uh, a lot of people who bought new machines and congratulations on your um, investment. And we've got this Pro Stitcher Premium now and hey, there have been some great sales lately on, on designs. And um, I know you've all got a, a load of them that you purchased and downloaded to your computer. Well, now uh, you've purchased them and a lot of people want to know, well, how do I get them into my Pro Stitcher? Well, we're going to talk about that today. And I, I think there's kind of a misunderstanding as to um, what you're doing. So let's talk a little bit about your computer. Your computer, and we're going to talk about Windows um, operating system today. I'm sorry, Mac, I don't have um, anything to demonstrate for you um, on that, but know that it, it works kind of the same um, on your computer, under your operating system, whatever it may be, Windows 7, 8, 98, um, or 10, um, you all always have had programs and the programs access files. So if you see this first one here is a, a Microsoft Word, we all pretty much have Word in one form or another. It's a word processing program on our computers. If we want to type letters or type out recipes, um, we've got uh, Electric Quilt, Art and Stitch. Pro Stitcher Premium is a program that runs on our computer. This little squiggle here, the, the A, it looks like an A, that's Adobe Reader. You all recognize that. Those are all programs that access files located in File Explorer on our computer. File Explorer is like a great big filing cabinet stuffed into your computer. It's where the hard drive organizes files. You can't just, you know, dump things in there. Kind of, kind of like <laughs> my desk looks like sometimes. I've got, it looks like a hurricane came through, but um, some at some time I've got to organize everything. I've got um, documents. I've got printed out patterns, I've got lessons, I've got instructions, and that's what File Explorer can organize for you. They can organize documents, or maybe you have pictures, or movies, or audio files, like audio books, or like this cute little guy here on the bottom right, and you, maybe you've got clip art, and photographs, and pictures. How, how do you keep them organized? Well, you keep them organized with File Explorer. And let's talk a little bit more about that. So within uh, File Explorer, you've got folders and subfolders. So you're going to coordinate things according to what kind of files they are, what kind of pictures they are. You'd have all your books maybe in one uh, spot. But it's it's kind of like, a, like I said, a giant file cabinet. So if you look on the right there, you see a big giant wall, file wall cabinet, and all your pieces of papers, your different format files are in that wall somewhere. So you go to that cabinet, you'd open a drawer, you'd pull out a folder, and from that folder you'd find the document that you were needing to use in your program. And it's like that with Pro Stitcher Premium. All those stitch files, you're going to be organizing somewhere in that giant file cabinet on the wall. You're going to be putting them in the drawer with all the other stitch files and then you're going to sort them out somehow in folders either by edge to edge designs or block designs or however you like to sort them and i have another youtube video i talk about that i'll post a link to that in the comments below it's also like trying to mail a letter to me so if you wanted to know where on the planet earth that I lived um, you start with the country I live in the US you'd enter my zip code the state and the city within the state of Illinois that I live my street address and then my name and that's how the postman would find me by my name on my street in the city that I live in the state and you'd have another indicator of zip code or postal code 
and in my country. And that way the letter could get from me to you or from you to me. So that's how the folders within the File Explorer work, that big file cabinet. Now let's talk about um, laptops and tablets and um, computers. Now you have file storage, we just talked about that, but we have to transfer our files from our desktop or laptop wherever we downloaded that file and we need to transfer it to our tablets at our machines because our machines do not have internet access so we can't use something like a cloud which is internet based um, we've talked about these different three cloud choices or systems those are all um, outside storage safe storage for your files files are stored here on the hard drive of some kind within your tablet within your laptop within your desktop you can transfer them most commonly by a, a thumb drive a USB so you plug it into your laptop and transfer the file from wherever that it's stored we would copy it onto the USB and then remove the USB and put it over um, in into our tablet at our machine now um, I don't usually store files on my tablet at my machine. That's kind of another question that everybody has. Um, I only store uh, files either on my laptop or in one of these cloud situations if you want a backup. It's always good to have a backup, so that's why I like the cloud because I can store um, many, many files there and always have a backup in case my hard drive ever fi fails or for some reason I lose a file. So we're transferring via sticking our little thumb drive into our laptop. So let's go click on my file explorer and take a look at it. This is what you're going to see when you open the file explorer. It's got this little little file filing looks like a little file that's sorted. Um, little icon you're going to find that either on your taskbar at the bottom or somewhere within the Windows menu you're going to open that up and then this is how everything's organized so quick access is for files that you have opened a lot if you've um, used it at, if you've used a file at simulator you might file it under, or might have be able to retrieve it from quick access so that's not a permanent situation that's just a convenience that it opens the latest files that you've been working with um, i also have <clears throat> these are my clouds so dropbox onedrive and these are you'll see these little arrows here to the side right now i'm in the tree called this pc if i click on that arrow you'll see that it expands and under here i have other places that I can expand because be, expand because there's more under it so you'll see that I have a Windows my hard drive is called C this is my recovery drive I have a DVD that's an E drive and then I have a thumb drive plugged in right now to my computer so that's also shown as a um, device or a, a storage drive so that's what it looks like so now if I wanted to go under the documents file cabinet if that's where I've stored my files or if I've just downloaded it's gone directly to downloads um, I would open one of one or two one or the other of these trees and retrieve my files from there so we've talked about where our files are and how they're stored. Let's go over into ProStitcher Premium and see how we access them. So I'm working um, again at ProStitcher Premium. This is a simulator at my desktop so I can easily record this. It's, it's visible and easy for you to see. So we, um, if you pretend you're at your machine, you open a file click on the file tab and on the ribbon you're going to choose design and open now this is showing me a 
picture of my C drive. So my C drive, remember my D drive, and then my F drive. F drive was my USB that I currently have plugged in. So if I have my designs on a USB stick, I would click this one. And here under my C drive, so if you have um, files that you stored on your hard drive or purchased and were downloaded to your hard drive, you go to C and open up users, find your name, and then here would be documents and downloads. So you would click to expand one or one or the other of these, the documents or downloads, and you would retrieve your file from there. And you're only going to find files with this type of extension. These guys right down here, the HQF, the HQV, HQP, QLI, all those are the file types that they're going to display here on your um, area. This will display files, stitch files that are available for Pro Stitcher. Now it's not going to open a PDF file like a file you would open for Adobe Reader because that's not a stitch file. That is a document file and it has a different file extension. So you're only going to be able to open files that are pertinent to your Pro Stitcher Premium. So I hope that explains a little bit about how you store and retrieve files from your computer and you know that you're not actually loading them into um, a Pro Stitcher program. Um, if you want to store them on your tablet at your machine, I prefer not to because I, I like to keep the um, hard drive on that machine um, as uncluttered as I can keep it so that my program will operate at, at premium levels. Um, the, remember, the more files you get on a computer, the more it will slow down. The fuller your hard drive is, and the bigger that file cabinet gets and the longer it takes to locate a file. It's just like you trying to locate something in our sewing rooms. You know, sometimes you cannot find those scissors where they're supposed to be. So it's similar for Stitcher. If you get too many files out there on your tablet, um, it's going to take slightly longer to go look for where you put it or where you laid it, filed it last. So I hope that explains everything. If you have any questions, um, drop me a line down in the comments. I always uh, like to hear from you. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have, thanks so much. Remember to click that little bell so you're reminded or notified anytime I upload any new uh, videos. And I love to hear from you, so leave something in the comments. Tell me whether this was helpful, how it was helpful, or what else I could have explained. Thanks again for joining me. Bye for now.